Trooper, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to secure my vehicle. My brakes are applied. I'm going to start the truck in neutral. I'm going to place the transmission in first gear. I'm going to shut the truck off. Put the key in my pocket. I'm going to get out with three points of contact. And I'm going to chalk my wheels. charge my system. My system is fully charged. Alright. My first test is my governor cut in. My governor cuts in at 100 PSI. I am going to release my parking brakes, bring the pressure down to 100, Test my governor cut in. governor has cut in. I know this because my pressure is increasing. My next test is my governor cut out. My governor cuts out between 120 and 125 PSI. I am revving the engine 12 to 1400 RPMs and I am testing my governor cut out. My governor has cut out. I know this because my pressure has stopped increasing. Set brakes. Truck off. Heat on. <clears throat> my next test is my three PSI air loss. After I re release my parking brakes, after my initial loss of five to 15 PSI, I can lose no more than three PSI in one timed minute. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna release my parking brakes. My initial air loss was 10 PSI, timing now. My minute is over. I did not lose no more than three PSI in one time minute. And my next test is my four PSI air loss. I will apply approximately 90 pounds of pressure to my service pedal 
and after my initial loss of 5 to 15 PSI, I can lose no more than 4 PSI in one timed minute. My initial air loss was 5 PSI. Timing now. minute is over. I did not lose no more than four PSI in one timed minute. My next test is my low air warning light and buzzer. My low air warning light and buzzer apply between 60 and 70 PSI. I will fan the brakes down and test. buzzer are working properly they applied at 60 psi my next test is my emergency spring brakes my emergency spring brakes automatically apply between 20 and 40 psi i will rapidly fan the service pedal to simulate a rapid air loss and wait for my valves to pop Both valves popped, my emergency spring brakes are working properly. Now my next test is my compressor recovery. I will rev the engine 12 to 1400 RPMs, build my pressure from 85 to 100 in under 45 seconds. Timing now. Oh, okay. I fucked it up. I'm at a hundred, and it took nine seconds. I will continue to charge my system. When my system is fully charged, I will resecure my vehicle and go and remove my chalk blocks to begin my four-point brake test. My system is fully charged, brakes are applied, transmission is in first, truck off, key in my pocket, I will get out with three points of contact and remove my chalk blocks.
in my full point brake test. My first test will be my trailer parking brakes. I will release my tractor brake and I will give it a slight tug. The trailer parking brakes hold, they work properly. My next test is my tractor parking brakes. I will release my trailer parking brakes and I will give it a slight tug. It held. Both of my parking brakes are working properly and I will fully charge my system. My system is fully charged. My next test is going to be my trailer service brakes. I will drive up to five miles an hour and I will pull on the trolley service to test my trailer service brakes. Trailer service brakes applied, we worked properly, we stopped. Now my next test is going to be my service brakes. I will again drive up to five miles an hour and I will step on the service pedal to test my brakes. We stopped, the wheel did not pull left to right, indicating my brakes are in proper adjustment. So they, they work properly. This completes my brake test.